And welcome to Converged. I am Catherine Miniman, your host. And one thing I want to share with you, this is our very first episode for this new show, so thank you for joining us. For our first episode, we brought in two mayors. We have Mayor Perry, and we also have Mayor Phillips. Uh, Mayor F uh, Perry is with Hilton Head Island, and Mayor Phillips, you're with Port Royal. Nice to see both of you it's again. Good to see you. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having us. us. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I've had an opportunity to interview you over the years, and so when we come together, I want to talk first about you, you both are kind of new in your positions. So with you, Alan, you are now a year and a half in. That's correct. And from your perspective, um, what has been like the hottest topic, two hottest topics for you? Well, uh, hottest topics, well, there's a lot. Uh, but the two, you know, we, we just uh, gave municipal consent for the bridge, uh, for the for SCDOT to come to the to Jenkins Island and then onto the island. That has been one of the, the hottest topics. And of course, you know, there, there's um, a couple others that kind of rank there with second, and that would be short-term rentals, would be parking and just general traffic in, in itself. Okay, so those are your two, Hub. What about you? Yeah, so with us, well, first off, I mean, hot topic right now, we just came through uh, Tropical Storm uh, Debbie. Debbie. Thank uh, you, Debbie. Debbie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and luckily, you know, the, the issues were minimal for, for Port Royal, so that, that was a blessing that everybody made it through safe, and we just had some minor issues. But um, the biggest thing that we're hearing in, in kind of the issues and what, what I campaigned on and ran on was really some kind of responsible growth issues going forward, looking at our planning code, looking at how we're growing at Port Royal's experience, just like the whole region and, and, and an extreme amount of um, growth over the past 10, 20 years. And we we're just hearing from citizens about how, what are we doing about that? How are we approaching? Are we taking that problem serious? Are we are we putting things in place to, to move forward in the way that we want to? And then the second issue, of course, being the port that, that's being developed in Port Royal and, and working with that developing that developer to make sure that that's just being done in the right way, because that's going to have huge implications for the town of Port Royal. And what way? Well, let's talk about the port. I mean, you've now yeah. hit two topics, which I'm going to ask asking you about. Yeah. So since you brought them up, yeah. let's talk about the port. What way will it have an impact? Um, Every way possible. I mean, you're talking about a port that has sat there basically vacant for decades. Uh, before that, it was the major economic driver of Port Royal, and, and that's going to essentially come back. I mean, you're talking about an active marina. You're talking about boat yard operations. There's going to be jobs. There's going to be activity. There's going to be commercial spaces, restaurants, bars, open space for people to spend time, and then just connecting the, the, um, the entire town together. There's a residential element, so we'll be getting more homes, more residents into the town. It's going to increase the ta tax uh, base and bring business and jobs to an area that, that hasn't, hasn't seen that in in uh, decades, generations. So, I mean, it's gonna, like, it will fundamentally change Port Royal for the next 100 years. So. I was just gonna say, that's gonna explode the yeah. whole community. How, how many, what's your population? So we get a perspective. Right now we're about, estimated, we're just crossed over 16,000. They just, the Island Packet actually just did an article on that, that we're the, um, they called us the population king of Northern Beaufort County. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. So, I know, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, about 16,000. Well, that's, I mean, it's exciting, and, and I'm just sitting here, and I, here we are talking about all these wonderful things that are coming to our community. What about for us in Hilton Head Island? Well, you know, the mayor brings up some great points about growth, and, you know, we, all the mayors, we get together, we meet regularly, and, and we discuss the growth in the region. You know, what is happening outside of our boundaries? What is happening in the, in the unincorporated areas? What's happening in other areas that's going to affect us? Um, so as the population grows throughout the region, we all have to address how it affects us, right? So for Hilton Head, what that, what that means is probably more day trippers. So how do we address that? How do we address parking? You know, we've got a lot of people that come to the island to begin with. We've got 14,000 people that come to work on Hilton Head every day. Is it so, that many? Obviously. It is that many. So the, almost the population of Port <laughs> Royal comes to Hilton Head. <laughs> um, but those are, those are everyday events that we've got to pay attention to and figure out how to adjust and also keep the quality of lifestyle for both the residents and for the tourist population. You're right. And that, that is a balancing act. And how do you measure that? And how do, you, and how do we do this? You know, for us, our biggest you know, economy is, is tourism yes. and hospitality. So it is a very fine balance. We've got to make certain that that we're we're looking at it from all avenues, right? You know, what what is parking going to cost if it's going to cost anything? The council is going to bring that up to uh, discussion in the next couple of weeks. And how do we start to manage that growth off island? How do we manage the traffic coming onto the island? How do we create the parking scenario so that people know there's parking available or not available? Um, so mobile apps will become a, a big part of it. Um, and then, of course, you know, what businesses are there? You know, what's the housing look like? How can we move some of those 14,000 uh, employees to the island 
and that's something that we're working on as well. Oh my gosh, there's so much to talk about. We have to take a quick break and we'll be right back with more Converge. <laughs> 